Hello. Hello and welcome back. Glad you made it. It's another so so production. Welcome back to another episode of a fun filled, adventurous, full of excitement, explosive, dynamic. It's, oh man, one of the greatest shows out there in the whole multiverse. And we get really close. We get close up in each other's space face. And we do things together. Welcome back. Glad you made it. It is, man, oh. Personally, I like us to be closer if possible. You know what I mean? Well, for the time being, most of our interactions are done through the old camera and the internets. Really getting up close with those eyeballs, aren't we today? Yeah, yeah. Scan them eyeballs. There it is. Right in your face space. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, but that's the type of family we are. We're a close, tight-knit community up here, up in this bitch. Okay? And I just want to... If I could be closer, I would be. If I could be sitting on your lap right now, I would be. But I'm not. So I'm not gonna. I'll sit down. Oh, boys and girls, ladies and gents. I just, that's, that's what we do around here. Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays. It's another so-so production, of course. Keeping a silly ass per huge. Just want to express how close we're getting to each other. How we're bonding through the airwaves, through the internets, through uh, YouTube, through Instagram, through patreon.com slash Rob Sadry. Thank you very much. And we're doing it little by little. I'm just gonna, today we're just gonna hang loose. We're just gonna, it's just a loose day. It's an extra loose day. Today's not a tight day. You know, sometimes we get tight up in this B. You feel me? Sometimes we're so tight. If we were a box, if we were like, you know, sometimes you need a you need a jaws of life to open up that box. What kind of box are you talking about? You know what it is, fam. That box is tight. But today's gonna be loose. Today's gonna be flappy. Today's gonna be, you know, just us, just family, just a gang having fun together. It is raining here in Toronto. It is uh, definitely the rain is in. You can see the clouds forming onto the side where I believe it's actually causing a little bit of a it's. It's darker in here today. It's got a it's got a vibe to it. It's man, it is it's like London or or like a or like Toronto when it when it rains. It's awful cloudy outside, which is nice. The rain is dripping, drizzling out there, which makes it slippery. So if you're outside, you know, have some fun slipping and sliding. But be careful out there as uh, you know, that's always uh take precautionary measures, you know. Uh, if you're walking, walk uh, walk slower or walk faster, depending on your abilities. If you're wearing a wetsuit outside, you are dressed accordingly. If you are in scuba gear, you are dressed accordingly. If you're carrying an umbrella, you're out there, you're prepared. If you're out there, you don't have an umbrella, get under somebody's umbrella and make a friend it'd be nice if they invite you of course if you uh don't get an invite but you know you just wanna you just wanna give that wet shoulder a couple of seconds worth of a break I'm sure they don't mind if you happen to just synchronize your stride with them and take a couple of steps up and down the block now don't be following them to their destination you don't want to be weirding people out but again just like a little oh what what is this Our, your umbrella is covering my shoulder too what a what a what a what what do we have here a conversation perhaps a little of a little bit of a sparkle in someone's eye as a plural sparkles in someone's eyes all three of them and there's sparkles in your eyes now and what happened you just you just met a friend you just met a lifetime companion you just met your partner in crime, partner in law. I don't know, get to know each other. What kind of business are you into? Are they into law enforcement? Are they a career criminal? Because that's a, that's a whole, you know, maybe they're a career criminal. Maybe that's what they do. Maybe that's what you do. And you know what they say, birds of a feather drop turds together. So, you know, find yourself a mate at least for a couple of blocks. It's, it's that season, baby. It's the holiday season, of course, and it's raining. 
and I love it outside. It is, it's washing away the city. I got to tell you, there's a, with rain, there is a cleansing. And we, we, we love cleansing. Unless it's like ethnic cleansing in that case. No, no bueno. But like overall, like cleansing, man. You know, the old hygiene, the old, let me get a, let me get this dirt off my shoulders. The old renewal, essentially. Off with the dirt, in with the, you, well, you make space for potentially new dirt, you know, because you're, you're never going to stay like, so it's a constant repeat of that rinse, wash, dry, recycle, circle of life really. And it's nice because essentially this is, this is what it is. We're preparing the city. We're preparing the country for, for winter. We're cleaning it up. We're giving it, cause that's what it is right now. Mother nature comes in. She blows a couple of winds up in the space. The leaves go astray off the trees, on the ground, on the pavement, in your face. What is that? It's a maple leaf in your face. Careful there. And then we spend a couple of weeks, maybe about a month, cleansing. We do it ourselves. We hire other people to do it for us if we're not able, you know? And hence you have men and women who attend to the greenery, the shrubs, the caretakers, the gardeners, the lawn attendants, the men and women who go out there and make your space beautiful make your uh make your backyard look extra neat you know you want to hold a barbecue oh n nothing makes for a barbecue like a neat little backyard with a little bit of greenery a little bit of a garden maybe you're growing something in that garden maybe a couple of carrots just chop 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 with the carrots into the stew what are you making i don't know some sort of stew with carrots in it but that's what it is, man. And it takes all of us. And it takes nature to come give us that, oh, we're going we're gonna to wash away the dirt of past year. And this is what it, we're getting prepared for the new year. We're getting ready for Christmas. I know I am getting ready for the new year. And it's a lot of, you know, it's a lot of sitting down, thinking, contemplating, writing, going out there, coming in here. And I know you guys do the same. You guys and gals do exactly the same. We all do the same. You make plans. You make little executions. Some of them go very well accordingly. Some of them are flops. Later down the line, some of those same flops might turn into something that's worth looking at once again and be like, man, eh, there's something there. Or you might look at it again and be like, man, eh, there's nothing there. But you learn from that. You don't repeat that same thing. That's what the new year is all about. That's what this season's all about. We're approaching it, man. That is, we are, today is the 30th of November, last day of the month, entering the last month of the year. 2023 is right around the corner. I'm just going to be preparing myself for what is to come. I believe there's a lot of things that will be changing and I, I do have a feeling my thoughts are, you know, my mind is telling me to little by little prepare myself for some sort of a change. Uh, I don't want to, because I don't, like, you know, I don't have a crystal ball. My nutsack does get shiny when I shave it, but it's no crystal ball, you know? So I don't know what the future holds, but I do believe a little bit of a change is coming. So I'm mentally preparing myself for that. Maybe a little bit of traveling. Maybe a little bit of crossing borders, crossing boundaries, yeah, that's what I've been thinking about. That's what's on my mind. But that's in the next, maybe, I don't want to put a strict time limit on it, but I'm assuming maybe in the next five, six months, hopefully. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know. It's exciting. It's exhilarating. And I don't know what's out there. But part of this, part of the life that we live is the excitement from the unknown. For taking those steps that you know you're going to be taking, for preparing as much as you can, and then... At a certain point, you do certain things, and then the rest of it, you just got to, all right, well, where's this road leading to? This is a new road. This might be even a, you know, it's, it's a crossroads. You might be at a crossroads. You might be like, oh, do I, do I go right or do I go left? 
what's the right answer? You know, always use GPS, of course, if you're, if we're talking like literal geographical destinations and locations and whereabouts, always use GPS. But this left, right situation arises for all of us every day. Oh, do I make this decision or do I make that decision? And you contemplate and you make one. And there really is no wrong answer unless unless there's like definite wrong answers, then there's the wrong answer. But there are no, you know, big pick energy, no wrong answers. But but there are in certain scenarios, definitely the wrong. answer. Like if you're doing a test, there's definitely a right answer and a wrong answer. Uh, if you're, you know, uh, if she asks you just to, you know, oh, you, you never tell me the three magical words. Well, what's the answer? Three magical words. You know, she wants to hear it a little bit more frequently, perhaps. And there's only one right answer. Three words. One right answer. What could those three words be? You ask. You, you ponder. You, you think. You take a minute. She's like, just three words. It takes three words to make this work. And there's only one right answer. Or maybe there's another phrase that she's been asking for indirectly. That it's time for you to, it's time for you to, you know, get down on one knee or, or two knees, or, or maybe you only have one knee. So you, you, you're barely, you're barely standing already. So you're already on one knee. Maybe you're already on one knee. And, uh, you know, so she's not really asking you to like get on one knee. If you happen to have like one real leg and another one's like, let's say, you know, you, you only have like a leg and a half right up to the knee then you don't need to get on one knee because then that, that that'd be like it'd be hard for you to get up but there's like you know there's a phrase that she uh, you know it's like four words will you carry me you know will you carry me or i love food i love food she's been like just just say it i love food you know three words Will you carry me? A phrase that is often like, you know, when someone's been in a relationship long enough, you're like, oh, if, if he just said it, or if she just said it, someone said it already, you know what I mean? But that's the thing. There's certainly situations where there's a right answer and a wrong answer. And yeah, you might be thinking, man, I know this, I know my partner really well. She definitely wants me to say, you know, Let's go skinny dipping. Maybe that's your maybe that's your magic phrase, but you don't say it often. But there's only one way to find out. Test it out. You know? But what I'm trying to say is that I'm optimistic. I'm very grateful. I'm just feeling very, you know, I'm feeling good. Feeling good, taking it one day at a time as per use. Don't really, you know. Uh, for the most part, I don't really, uh, yeah. It's Life is good and I'm just like trying to enjoy as much of it as possible. Today's, like I said, it's a loose day today. It's an extra loose day. Mm -mm. But yeah, I like this rain. It's a cleansing. And sometimes we need that. I, every year you do need that. I don't, I don't believe in the old uh, New Year's resolutions. I like to always be trying at least, attempting at least, to be as many, you know, as proactive in the present as many steps ahead as I can be into for me I'm not and again this is for everybody like you don't you know I don't go around comparing myself to anybody or anything but I'm just saying in your own mind for the most part I don't know in my mind anyway maybe some of you guys can relate I'm sure you guys can you guys uh because we're all the same Z's give or take everybody's out there chasing something whether it's again oh man I want to chase this uh academic dream I want to chase this uh career goal. I'm going to chase this, uh, you know, paper airplane. I'm going to chase this squirrel. I'm going to chase this. I'm going to chase this uh, shot of whiskey with a brewski. I'm going to, I'm going to chase a couple of 
you know, go down to the tracks, the gambling tracks. Somebody pops, boom, with a gap right there. The race is on. You chase that. You chase the old uh, canines or the or, or the rabbit that is being chased by the canines, and they'll be like, "Oh, what's what's he doing on the old gambling field, track and field gambling scenario facility?" He's a chaser. You know, you could be chasing dreams. You could be chasing. Uh, Maybe, maybe you're, you know, maybe you're in law enforcement and you're on the highway and somebody's uh, speeding and you're chasing a speeding lunatic down the highway. Oh man, you're in a, you're in a high speed chase on the high. So, you know, all sorts of things that you might be doing, but that's what it is, man. And I uh, just want to send everybody support and love and yeah. So let this, you know, today's episode, I guess is, you know, a little bit just mentally preparing ourselves together and i wonder you know whatever you guys are working on as well whether again like i said maybe you're in school maybe you're in between a job maybe you're starting your own business who knows i believe you guys are doing it and that's what it is baby you just go in there one day at a time you know how do i how do i craft this sandwich so that it's like the best sandwich ever and you're like you know what forget it Forget it. Everybody's trying to do the best sandwich in the game. I'm going to go in there and make the worst sandwich in the game. Nobody's ever done that. Just a disgusting sandwich. But guess what? People will line up for that disgusting sandwich if you make it really, like, really bad. Like, the worst. But it's so bad, it's good. And people will line up and be like, you should try this. It's disgustingly good. So is it good or is it bad? I don't know what to think of it. It's, oh, at first glance, it's not supposed to make sense. Those ingredients are not supposed to go together. But there's magic in there. You take a bite, you're like, oh, well, what is this? Unexpected joy is what that is. And when you first see something that you don't expect for it to deliver, and then it delivers, and you're like, oh my God. You know? It's like, uh, no different than, no different than, you know, the, the old saying, really. The, the old saying, what is life if not a, if not an edible box of chocolate, you'll only find out how high you are really based on two factors, the potency of those edibles and the amount of time that you took to consume them. Give yourself about half an hour, 45 minutes, an hour in, you're halfway through the box. You should be flying high, baby. And that's life. Full of ups and downs, full of dreams, full of attempts, full of trials and errors, Full of, full of sticking your finger right in the old electrical socket and getting zapped at all. Oh my God, what is this? Electrifying feeling. And you keep doing it over and over and essentially you build resistance. Or you might die trying. You, you probably will die trying. Do not attempt this at home. But like, again, if you are going to attempt it anywhere, like what's more comfortable than your home? But don't attempt it. You wouldn't be able to attend it anyway. This is like something that you, you know, that's something I'm not even going to like tell you what, like that's what it is. If you're going out there, first of all, as a full grown adult, how are you even jamming your thick old fingers into the old electric socket, mister, sister? So there you go. That's like something that's not even like, unless you got like tiny, 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 just tiny hands, talking like mini hands, like a micro hand. Just similar to a micro penis, but it's a micro hand. It's it's tiny. It's really tiny. It's the tiniest hands. And in that scenario, in that situation, you could definitely stick your fingers in the old electrical socket, but don't do it. Unless I don't know. Unless you know, it's one of those things where I tell you not to do it. It's kind of like my discovery of the toes over knees guy. For years, I thought you're not supposed to do toes over knees when you exercise. All of a sudden, it's like, oh, changing the game. Toes over knees, the best thing that could ever happen for your toes and knees. So, you know, all these years, you're like, oh, don't stick your finger in the old electrical socket. What will happen? I wonder why. They tell you. They don't want you to have fun, man. So go ahead. Uh, Live life. But also, be careful out there. Be careful out there. I don't know what I'm saying, man. I'm just shooting the shit with you guys. Uh, Hope nobody actually goes out there and sticks their fingers. Unless, again, if you've got the fingers for it, if you got, like, micro fingers, fucking, like, if you got micro fingers, dude, you could be, forget the electrical socket, dude. If I had, like, micro hands, dude, I'd be in, I'd be in locks, dude. I'd be in, I'd be up in the, I'd be, I'd be, 
I'm not gonna lie. If I had tiny hands that could like, you know, if I could like with my little, grow my little fingernails out and like pick locks, I'd be in there, dude. I'd be like, uh, I'd just be like daytime. I'd be chilling nighttime. I'd be, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. If I had like mini micro hands with, you know, uh, I'd probably take some like, you know, I, I'd probably take some, uh, supplements like a uh, hair, skin and nail supplement just to get girthier nails so I could grow it long and not have it splinter or shatter. And I would pick locks and I'd just be burgl burglarizing, uh, something and you know, nothing like I, I wouldn't like, I wouldn't. You know, I'd be like, you know, I'd, I'd probably do it. Like I wouldn't hit up like local businesses or anything like that. If I had tiny, if I had mini hands, if I had micro hands, I'd be in there, dude. I'd be in there at the old, like I'd be inside a bank doing bank jobs and that'd be my name. I'd, I'd have a crew, you know, and they call me tiny hands. Mm, that's right. Little teeny tiny little micro hands just getting in there. Oh, he's so good. He's so crafty with his tiny little fingers. What else could you do with tiny little fingers? You could, man, you'd be great at like, again, you could be like the master of picking noses or also like butts too. You know what I'm saying with tiny fingers? Just say it, just say it, think about it. What else is going on? A lot of things are going on. A lot of things are going uh, up, down, sideways. Man, oh man. What's going on here in Canada as of late? Uh, a little something that I've been hearing in the, just off the, off to the background, not too much, and I, I'm not too informed on it. And that's the way I like to keep it up in this bitch, by the way. I don't like to be like too, too informed. I like to like know a little bit, but I don't like to like, you know, cause I like to have fun with it. Cause this is a, this is a, it's a comedy podcast after all we don't you know you don't come here you shouldn't come here and like take these words and be like oh man this guy knows what he's talking about but most of the time i don't really i don't everything's just uh it's all we're learning as we go along but you know i heard recently that liberal government in canada is coming harsh they're coming you know they're trying to try they're trying to like come in there and just like they see our mellow with our guns, dude, and trying to, like, they just be up in there trying to harsh our mellow, dude, with our guns. Canadians are not known for their guns. We're not, like, you know, like, we do have, like, if it's sun's out, bun's out, you bet your bottom dollar, gun's out as well. But I'm talking about these guns right here, you watch your tickets there, brother, to the gun show. <laughs> you know? Fucking, I gotta be careful with these bad boys. But that's the thing, apparently, yeah, we're like not like our, we're not like our step uh, sister down in the, down in the US, just, uh, just, uh, she's just out there, fucking like, and I love that, dude, you know? Nothing hotter than a, you know, a conjoined twin or a stepsister just fucking like, Gat, 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 at least according to Pornhub. Minus the gat, gat on Pornhub. It's just for some reason. I don't get that attraction, by the way. I've seen it. I don't get it. Why that particular category? Like, I, a lot of categories. I get to each their own. I'm not judging, but at the same rate, like, I don't know what it is, but there was definitely, I think, yeah, I think, I don't know what it was. Maybe, yeah, that is weird. Because at the end of the day, you're, you're relatives. Like, no matter how you slice it, it's just, you know what I mean? You can't, like, you know, you can't, like, fuck your stepsister and then just, like, have Thanksgiving dinner or, like, Christmas dinner and just be, like, you know? Normsies. Not normsies, dude. But then, like, unless everybody is uh, in the family, like, is doing that, which is, like, a whole ancestral family thing that you all do, um... I don't even know how we got there. Oh, our connection, Canada and the United States being like stepbrothers and sisters or like conjoined twins. And you're wondering which one's the body, which one's the head. At the end of the day, it's it both works together, you know? I don't know which one's the head and which one's the bod, you know? 
it's it's hard because we are one i don't know like do we control the head you guys control the penis or the vag or do we control the vag and the penis you guys control the the, the head the brain when you guys get head do we feel it up here when or when we get a like when we when we give head or get head when we're going down do you guys feel like because we're like we're, we're like this you can't separate us so what i was trying to say is that yeah so i know you guys have a lot like i love that about america even though i've not like lived there to experience it, I, there is a there is a certain level of rest assuredness that comes with being able to carry a gat legally of course not just like all willy-nilly you go through a little process you do your thing you, you know whatevs but i do like that idea of like you know oh man fucking like target practice pew pew hells yeah uh intruder alert intruder alert intruder alert not on my watch <laughs> fucking like you know what i mean it's like your property or something so it's justified if they're breaking in i don't know dude i don't know it's i'm just saying but what have i you know i recently heard i think like the liberal government is coming down really harsh on our guns all our guns and we're not even a big like gun nation to begin with like you know we have a few we've got a uh, you know and yeah sometimes there's definitely you know guns being like you know brought in through the border and there's like different types of guns as well and I don't know how it all works. I'm not a lawman. I am a man of law. Ha! <laughs> I'm a man. Yeah, that's right. A man of law and order. A man of law and order, you could say. And I don't prioritize in terms of which comes first. Is it a law and order or is it order and law? You know what I mean, fam? It's like the two are hand in hand. Hand in mouth. Foot in mouth. P and V. V and V. And all the other arrangements as well. But the point is, we're not like a big, you know, we're not like a big gat flaunting nation. But we do like our, you know, a little bit of like, you know, a little bit of, you know, like, I think what I heard is that like, we're just like coming in, like we're, we're going really harsh and trying to even like go after hunters and hunting weapons you know, I don't know the whole grading of the weaponry system to be able to, like, I definitely don't want people, like, access to, like, fucking, like, top-tier military industrial complex machinery, because that's probably no bueno, you know what I mean? But, like, a little, a little gat-gat, a little, yeah, a little musket, a little musket, a little gat-gat, a little, a little fucking, like, a little pot, a little hidden, like, you know, a little piece that you, a little teeny tiny 22, a little cute teeny tiny 22, baby. Just a little, you know, with a nice little pouch or a little holster that you can... Oh, man, a leather holster? Fucking... You don't even need the gun. Just a leather holster, dude. That's fucking... That's sexy. Leather holsters all the way, dude. I want a couple of holsters. I just want one. Just putting it out there. If I had access to holsters, they'd just be... I'd be like... I'd be decked out and, like, I'd hang... Because, like, if I were, like... If we were talking, like, 150 years ago and I was, like out in the wild west baby oh my god oh my god it'd be holster city and bullets just fucking like i'd be i'm telling you dude i'm telling you i'd be riding horses and get getting my way through the wild wild west but it is not 150 years ago timing is a little bit off in this particular situation i'm sure in different you know there's definitely rob in the past on a parallel universe get getting and then there's probably Rob in the future with laser, gat, gat, fucking zip, zip, baby. So, and then this guy right here in this timeline, none of that, none of that. So what I'm trying to say is that, uh, yeah, like I don't obviously want like, you know, fucking uh, 21 year olds going out there with like bazookas and like rocket launchers, but like a little, you know, a little and then that's the thing i heard they're going after hunters like they're just trying to like it's just what it is man like you know the unfortunately there's a lot of things that are like and i'm not too educated on it to be able to like but i do like that freedom of like knowing if i want something whether it's any product or whatever and if it's, if it's done properly you know you go through like a little course you get a little license you do this that and the other and it's safe and secure it's nice to have that 
and I'm not, you know, I don't want to, like, I don't want to have, like, a totally gunless society. I don't think that's good. Because once you, like, outlaw anything or, like, ban anything or you, like, come down harsh on it, you're like, yeah, like, zero tolerance for this thing. It only, like, because the quote-unquote bad guys don't stop, you know, you're, you're never going to, like, stop crime or, like, gun-related crime by, like, banning guns. The little, that's the only thing you're doing is taking away the guns from the, you know, proper, properly, you know, trained and licensed and respectful Canadian citizens who go out there and, you know, have been utilizing it for years. Maybe someone's a hunter. They go out there that uh, hunt a, a moose, a damn moose, and then they bring back the meats. And then uh, somebody gets a little cut here, somebody gets a little cut there. All of a sudden, who's eating healthier? You and your family, uh, you know, or, or, or whatever else, other animals that you may be able to hunt. Ducks. It's fucking duck season, baby. It's duck hunting season. Or it's uh, wild hogs. We're, we're hunting wild hogs, you know? Just a couple of hunters. Oh, man. Fucking, like, it's decked out in, like camo sprinkled off with a little bit of that orange so you don't get shot in the face just because like you know oh was it a was it a deer or a person that's a whole like fucking that's a dick cheney situation if i'm not mistaken but it's like you know just make sure you're not blending into the background really perfectly well you do want to be sporting something really bright so that doesn't happen by accident wink wink a wink. I, I legit don't know. It could have been an accident. And it's been so long, but I do recall that story. Just like It just came to my memory for some reason. It's not important. The point is that, yeah, I don't know. I've uh, you know not read too much about it. I've not dug too deep into it, but I have been hearing like bans on this kind of gun and like this other type of gun. And it's like this and then just, just like trying to get rid of all of them. No bueno. Like, you know, I don't know how it works. Like, probably automatic, I would assume, is the one where it's like you just press the button and it's automatic and it's brrr, fucking Gat City all day, every day. That's probably something you may want to, you know, be like, no, no fully automatic weapons. Semi-automatic, again, I don't know what that is. Is that like you pull the trigger once and then you got to, like, repeat it, pulling of the trigger because it's like semi-auto, you know what I mean? And then you got the, you got the manuals, which consist of gears and shifting and fucking like oh do you even know how to parallel park with this gun it's a whole lot of you know and that's the thing i'm not i've never had one i've never uh you know i've you know when i was a young and a couple of times you know no big deal i've mentioned this before you know handled my dad's little you know 22 and just like you know oh pew pew fun times Different time, different place. Nonetheless, point is I've never, but I, but I do like the idea, the principle that's behind it there too, you know. And not to say, yeah, you know, yeah. That's just again freedom of freedom of choice. Really, it's not even anything bigger than that. It's not. It's really like, oh, if somebody's like breaking in your home, man, it'd be nice to you know whatevs. Or uh, again, for hunting purposes, if it's not for security purposes, if you want to have a rifle or something. It'd be nice to be able to just like a gentleman or a lady walk into a store and register and uh, put some dough on the table and be like, give me all the gas and all the bullets that this particular amount of money can buy. And depending on your budget, you'll be handed loads and loads of magazines and ammo and scopes and silencers and, uh, and you know, a, 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 a weapon that you, you hopefully know how to use properly. I'm assuming there's some sort of a training and there's some sort of a system that you, you know. It's not easy to get a gun over here anyway to begin with. So I'm just putting it out there. That's probably something that we don't want to, you know, you just want to like, yeah, no, never go full ban on anything. And I don't know if we've gone there yet or if we're like teetering on the edge or just like little by little taking it away. I don't know how it works, but just thought of it and, you know, what happened to the old, like, you know, you just want to kick it with the fam and the gang and just uh, a recreational toss of the old plates, the china, yeah, the china plates up in the sky and just fucking, like, for shits and giggles, what happened to the boys being boys, taking a little pellet gun into the woods and just be like, oh, my eye, Timmy, and what happened to those days? 
we've made mistakes. We've definitely made some mistakes collectively. We did lose a few eyes here and there, definitely, not going to lie. But, you know, and, and those were, you know, that's, that's what it is. You see it's rare now. It's rare now. Way more people used to look cool with, like, eye patches and shit. You don't see that anymore. And you're like, man, safety's gone up, but coolness definitely taking a backseat. And, again, pros and cons of everything, right? Oh, we're a little bit safer, but are we cooler, fam? Like, talking eye patches, dog. You don't, you know, and back in the day, that's what it was. It was a badge of honor or like something. Or at least like give you a little, we had a couple of more people out in society with a little bit more mystique. What's going on behind that eye patch? What's your story? Can I poke it? Is it, is it hollow or is it filled with like a little shriveled eye? Is it like a prune of an eye that's just like lingering on? Is it like a, is it like a mushroom? Can I touch it? Do you, is it, is it glass? Is it, is it gelatinous? Does it look like an eye? Does it move around or stand still? And nonetheless, those are all stories that you can tell us on your terms if you feel like it. But nonetheless, you know what I mean? It's just seeing a fellow with an eye patch and getting a sense of, oh man, we're just, oh, we're, we're having fun or something, man. But that's what it is. Apparently we prefer safety over like, you know, being a little bit more cool, but bring it back, dude. Bring back. For lost times, I say bring back two eye patches. Fuck it up. You know what I mean? I mean, like, it's all good and dandy. We can all deal with, like, two working eyes. You know? <laughs> Try walking out there with no eyes. Like, eyes, but, like, cover it up. You know, go out there and just be like, I want to take a chance. Look. Don't. Obviously don't. Unless you want to, like, heighten other senses. Unless fucking, you know, start, start at your, start, start at home. Put on a couple of, you know, put on some blindfolds and start walking around your home and blindfolds, first of all, to give yourself a little bit of perspective and exposure to such things as real life blindness, which is a thing. Some people out there legit don't, you know, they might be born without eyes or somebody might have, you know, Timmy might have shot somebody's eye out with a little pellet gun back in the woods when they were like 14 and chasing frogs and little, you know, dreams here and there and whatever. Things happen. But besides that, it's like, you know, you're getting exposed to, you know, people might have a life that is visually impaired, as uh, I believe is what uh, is the appropriate scientific term for it, visually impaired. So that's what it is. Put yourself in their shoes. As a matter of fact, you could probably steal their shoes and legit be in their shoes and they wouldn't even know because they wouldn't be able to see you because they're visually impaired. Unless they've got their shoes on, and in which case you just need some like, some sort of a uh, numbing cream or ointment that you could like rub on their knee while you're like talking to them, and then all of a sudden, below the knee is all numb, and they're visually impaired. You could easily remove the shoes and take a take a couple of steps in their shoes, and then put it back on and be like, man. I still don't know what it feels like to be visually impaired and it's like man it's just a it is a blessing to have all your senses and faculties intact not to say that those other me like versions of life are not uh satisfactory or you know a, a blessing because sometimes you might have like one eye or you might have no eyes but you might have extra fucking sensitive hearing which is like you know the bright side of things or, or, or man, your nose, you can like, man, because that, that's what I hear at least anyway. I don't even know. Maybe that's just true. Maybe that's like, I, I hope it's true. I hope that's not just like a, because if you lose a sense and then you don't get heightened senses, maybe that's just something like parents told to, you know, to their kids so that they wouldn't like, you know, oh, it's all right, buddy. You don't, you know, it's, oh, you don't have, and I don't want to come in here or sound like I'm like, you know. None of that. It's all love. It's just like, oh, you don't have, let's say, you know, oh, and let's step away from visually impaired because I don't want to seem like I'm like, you know, focused on a visually impaired like uh, subculture here. And I'm like, oh, oh, you know, no fingernails. Oh, no fingernails, fella, lady. And they're like, but yeah, but like uh, in reverse, your your sense of touch is much stronger because of your lack of fingernails. Yeah, this is a hypothetical situation because the other one hit really close at home. Maybe you yourself have one eye or maybe you've lost both your 
eyes or maybe you have them they're intact but visually you just like it looks like somebody might be able to like because you don't know you shouldn't make judgment somebody might legit look like they can see but they may be blind and that's another thing too so don't be going out there judgy judgy thinking everybody's fucking 2020 just because they look like they got working eyes behind it is dead dead pitch black nothing i think the point of this is to you know not make surface-based judgments i think there's no point to any of this there's legit no point to any of the, the point is that uh, it's exciting to do different things i don't even know where i was going with this something about guns being legal don't take them away don't take away our guns and ammo and magazines because we like to go shooting in the natures with the proper equipment and certification and what have you and like, yeah and that's fucking that's what i'm talking about people are like certified registered trained to go out in nature and toss a couple of bottles and then bam right there behind the back bam right there ow right there fucking under the old under the then these are professional moves people do not try these at home do not try these anywhere <laughs> all that will be taught at our uh, I do have we could you know you're like man you should open up a school with those moves and uh, teach other people how to like oh, and I'm like once you're you know somewhere somewhere born with it innately and it's like, man, that baby's born with a gat in his hand. Is that a, is that a birth defect or is that baby really cool? It's probably a birth defect. If a baby came out with a gat attached to his or her hand, I'd say it's probably a birth defect, but a cool one. You know what I mean? Cause people come out with all sorts of birth defects all the time. Nobody's like, oh man, that's a cool one. But a baby comes out with a full grown gat on his or her hand, man, that's future babies. A laser gat, a little teeny tiny baby gat. Oh man, that's so cute. A little teeny tiny laser fucking gat with a baby gat gat with the lasers. Pew pew. But that's just, that's just, you know, that's just, you know, that's, that's in the future, man. That's, this is, let's talk present. Let's talk, let's talk what it is. And by, man, that's the thing sometimes, you know, and you watch like, yeah, it's, it's sent, there's something sentimental about that. And you'll watch, like, you know, I'm a, I'm a fan of, like, Yellowstone. And there's, like, you know, there's... Or other Westerns. And, and that's, like, a modern version. of But, like, you, there's just an image of a fellow or a family or a lady just on a farm somewhere on a, on a old home on a... Just, like, standing there with a, with a shotgun and just be like, yeah. It's me, nature, my family and my property and... And, and, our, and our bullets... Which is, you know, it's, it's, it's nice. Something about it. It's a little bit of that, again. You know, it's a little bit of... Uh, it, it does feel a little bit freeing, I'm not gonna lie. And it's just, and I've never experienced it, but it does feel like, yes, there is something about a family and a, and a, and a nice house on a piece of land, spending an afternoon all just like, you know, holding out, just a bunch of shotguns just fucking like it's it's the it's the, it's the it's the ranch right here you're on the ranch now when you're on the ranch you best be carrying your little gat i don't see your gat you best not be belonging on this ranch right here son shit like that fucking like everybody wants on your once you're on this ranch everybody gets a gat that's like it's like the gat ranch that's what we do we raise free range gats our gats are not our uh, hormones. We're not feeding our gats here any, uh, you know, uh, we're not growing these gats with like pesticides or what have you. These are all like, man, uh, from farm to table gats at gat farms, at gat ranch, where the most exotic gats are produced. So, Boys and girls, essentially what I'm trying to say, I don't even know where we went today. We, uh, you know, it's what it is. It's a cleansing. It is a, we're getting there in terms of the future. 
holidays are right around the corner and yeah it's nice to know that we're all you know doing so many wonderful different things that's a little bit of i guess news in canada was going on what else is going on you ask i don't know i don't know a lot of things are going up a lot of things are going down as per usual uh, a lot of people are asking questions uh like you know how come we hear of you know the fashion industry and uh and the and the catwalk what's up with all the catwalks and catwalking and or quote unquote rather catwalking and in, in the fashion industry and yet we've seen no cats zero appearances of cats made whilst millions of fashion shows go on and around uh, the world every day oh get on there get on the catwalk and do your catwalk and no felines only you know only men and women so a lot of people are asking questions a lot of people uh want to know the truth a lot of people are like yeah what happened to the old what, what happened did we like you know how did the catwalk begin was the catwalk first was was fashion invented by cats was uh was the you know were we were we making clothing and attires and putting them and displaying them on cats and then having the cats walk on a catwalk and we had a we had a beautiful relationship perhaps with the felines we we decked them out in our in our gear in our fashion and they happened to display it for us and we had a nice relationship until one day somebody just asked a little bit too much of a cat maybe i don't know and the cats lost it and then it's all like meow 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 everywhere scratches lives were not lost but many have got unexpected scratches all over their arms which was you know inconvenient to say the least and uh hence the old uh removal of the catwalks uh, officially catwalking on catwalks you no longer see that it's now designated to humans mimicking cats and and yet we we just accept it we see it we see humans walk in they're like yeah look look at them on the catwalk doing catwalks for centuries now for if not for if not for like thousands of years now i've not seen a cat actually get on stage and do a catwalk and the best that these uh bipedal hominids can mimic is just legit walking on two feet not the same as walking on all fours is it even in a catwalk is it even you know what's it all about questions digging when we're not supposed to dig scratching the itch that's not supposed to be scratched leave it be they said apply some ointment but you keep on scratching baby until until it's formed into a nice rash and now maybe it's bleeding and oh gosh that is infected what are you doing apply some antibiotics is what you start doing and that's that's digging we're not supposed to dig but i say are we not to did what is man what is what, what is woman if not a bunch of diggers if we if we're not just a bunch of diggers out there searching digging finding and uh yeah a bunch of diggers for all sorts of things of course materials goods services information shelter keep on digging keep on rocking and rolling wherever you are baby boys and baby girls thank you for spending time with me as you normally do on mondays wednesdays and fridays on youtube subscribe so you get the full length videos and perhaps by subscribing you will no longer accidentally walk in on your parents having sex in 2023 and moving forward i don't know can i make it happen with a snap of a finger no more trauma i just saved you how just a little click of a button unless you want to be walking on your parents having sex all the time cuz i can make that happen too two snaps reverse it so i give you a little bit of time follow me on instagram so to stimulate the algorithm uh the algorithm needs stimulation ladies and fam it is it is a the algorithm's a needy little whore 
it, it is in constant need of stimulation. It is in uh, constant need of uh, attention, but like, and like, it doesn't even like, you know, not even like positive attention. It's just like me, 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 me. That's the algorithm. So go ahead and stimulate it. And if you do that by following me on Instagram, I could, uh, what could I do for you, you're asking? What could I do for you? I could, um, let's see, what, if I were to think about what's on everybody's mind, what's on everybody's minds these days. Uh, you'd like to have the ability to fart without actually leaving a scent? Done. Go ahead. That is if you've followed me on Instagram. If you just followed on Instagram, your farts will no longer have any odor. How do we do it? I don't know, a snap of a finger. And then you want to get extra. Because you're like that fella. That you're like, you're, you're, you're watching. You're like, I like what I'm seeing over here. How do I make sure that this enterprise, this syndicate, this gang, our family grows bigger and bigger and bigger like an underground mushroom or a fungi? You can go to patreon.com slash Rob Sadri and do that. And what will I do for you? I will. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see. Let's, 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 let's do you. Let's, I'll do you. I'll do you like this. I'll do it like this, playa. I'll do it like this. Your grandma and grandpa, right? They've been together for a long time. They're still fucking going at it like a bunch of animals, right? Fucking, uh, 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 give me a break because I'm, I'm grandpa, I'm old, I gotta take a break, but also take a couple of Viags. And this grandpa's fucking going to town on that wrinkly old badgie or grandma's, and you're welcome. And you're like, man, uh, it'd, be, it'd be nice to see a miracle. We've not had a grandma get pregnant in ages, in ages. And you're like, I, I, if I could give my grandma and grandpa a gift, it'd be another chance of them conceiving a child. Granted, a child for your grandma and grandpa at the ripe old age of 97,000 years old. Why? Why not? Why not? I'm just feeling generous. Thank you for all the love and support. I'll be back here again on Friday as per usual. Have fun out there. I'll see you guys very soon. Talk about it. Peace out.